Hey guys, it's Hetty and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video we're doing the second Art Addicts Alliance piece and I'm sorry this is quite a long video, it took a while to do the piece and it's a good job I have a fair amount of stuff to say and update you about so that'll work but yeah. Um, so I guess first I'll just go through the updates and that sort of thing and then I'll talk about the artwork. Um, so this month we actually have our first featured artist and it's Draw Art Lab. I'll leave a link to the channel in the description below. But yeah, they do a lot of really good videos and you should definitely go check them out. I mean, I've not been subscribed very long, but the ones I've seen so far I am really impressed with. They've got a very good range of techniques and style, so yeah, you should definitely check that one out. And Art for Fun she's doing a free giveaway this month of her artwork or a print one or the other but you should definitely go check out her video over on her channel and go see the artwork and find out about the giveaway and how to enter and all that sort of cool stuff and then there's the normal update of the poll for next month it will be linked in the description below and yeah don't forget to go and check that out and vote for what you want to, to see us draw next month now on to the main topic. Um, as some of you know, if you're subscribed to Dory from Dory Stories, she's actually been going through a really hard time right now and I won't go into details about what, but if you watch her channel then you'll, you'd have seen it anyway and you know. But um, all of us other members of the Alliance really wanted to do something to help her, so we've set up this art raffle, basically. Oh, I'm sorry, there's a motorbike going past. Um, but yeah, basically, um, all you've got to do is go in the link below and enter. Um, just pay a donation of some point, some amount and you could win some prints of ours. There's even some original artwork in there and some art supplies. There is, Claire from Black Summer Colouring has done a video explaining in more detail like what you need to do to enter and I'll leave a link to that video in the description box as well but yeah anything you can do would be a huge help to Dory and we'd all be like eternally grateful because she definitely deserves this she needs a good pick me up right now and we just hope we can do enough for her to help her get by um, but yeah all of us artists have got to stick together all of us YouTubers and um, we hope you'll be a part of that with us um, yeah, I guess I can talk about the artwork now. Um, I really, my problem with this month's theme, which is one with nature, was I had too many ideas, so that was fun to get through. Um, when, I think it was actually Dory that suggested this theme for the month, but when it came up on the list I was like, oh, I want that one to win so bad because it was just literally so many ideas buzzing through my head and I've actually had this idea in my head for a long time now and I have drawn some pictures to go with it but basically I'm drawing out slowly a series of it's kind of like a comic but not but a series of illustrations and I've titled it Nature's Warrior which if you've been on my channel for a while you'd have seen the character concept I did for her uh, sometime last year maybe or the year before but basically I'm not going to go into too much detail because I want you to actually stick around and want to see the rest of the pieces but I wanted to use this as a chance to redesign her and start to tell her story or something like that in a way and yeah basically I don't want these to be a story that has to follow on from each other I want them to be a series of standalone illustrations so if you see it then yeah it's telling a little story on its own but they all work together as a series um, and when as soon as one with nature came up all I could think was back to my story of nature versus humanity and yeah so I decided to go with this whole idea of a tree that's kind of grown and swallowed up a bike and then just her chilling sitting against it. It doesn't 
it just introduces you to her as a character more than telling a story about her as such and I wanted to make sure because when I originally designed her she was going to have like human weapons and that sort of thing but I think my mind's kind of more going down the magic route now and I'm going to give her like a sort of power which you can see in the piece a little bit but I was really struggling to decide if I wanted to do this piece in like watercolour or acrylics or digital and because I wanted to go down that magic route I couldn't my skill level especially with watercolour isn't at the point where I knew I could get that effect with watercolour like um, I wanted like a glowing effect so that left me with one option which was digital art and it's took a, a long time for me to do the piece I think about four hours maybe because digital art seems to take a while but I have to say for me personally this is one of my favorite digital pieces I've ever done she didn't quite turn out how I wanted her to there's some of the things with the character concept that don't match to my original concept sketches but this was just a way of me experimenting and trying to push myself to get an image that would follow my ideas if you get what I mean so overall the composition I'm quite happy with there are a few things I'd probably change but for because I find I'm not an amateur but I'm I am still a novice at digital art so I'm pretty happy with how well it's turned out that was the main thing for me it is a good t turnout on that but I think I need to upgrade my Photoshop to help with some of the things I wanted to achieve but that's something for a later date I don't know enough digital art to worry about that right now Um, but yeah it's I'm happy with how the anatomy turned out on this one. It did take me a few tries and I did actually, I've done some background practices. I mean, I've got my A6 sketchbook and I just have reference pictures and for days I was just drawing backgrounds because I need to get better at doing that anyway, but I wanted to use it as a chance for me to practice. But then I've also been practicing some anatomy drawings in a different sketchbook and um trying to do a new character concept for her than my original one which when I've done a few more pieces I'll probably do a video on it and as soon as I've got some ideas for actual sort of pages because I want to make them into a book then I suppose I'll introduce it all properly to you but yeah um prints of this piece can be found on my red bull as well as other merchandise and stuff on there and other pieces of artwork and soon I will be doing a huge like update onto my Redbubble because I have been putting the odd piece on there but not all of them so there'll probably be an update video coming out on that soon as well um, just showing everything on there but there's a link to that in the description as well as yeah a load of other links <laughs> so I will make sure there is the link to the just giving page that we have for Dory set up I and mean, even if you don't want to join the raffle then please just donate anything will help um, a link to the video from Claire from Black Summer Colouring explaining how to enter the raffle just to make sure you actually do get entered because you have to fill this form in or some and yeah anyway I'll leave that to Claire to explain for you and then the links to Draw Art Lab and Art for Funds channel and the Alliance Facebook page and also the link for the next month's poll. So lots of links. Sorry about that, but I hope you click them all. Um, but yeah, I guess there's not really much left for me to say apart from please, if you take anything away from this video, then please go and help Dory out. That's the main agenda for this week for me and all the other Alliance people is to help Dory as much as we can. So. Yeah, um, but anyway, I hope you like the piece and thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. We lose our sound.
things We lose our sight And we put our trust in things Of this material world Of things that fade away Let me keep coming back Keep coming back Of this material world